Hello everybody, it's Josie here. I'm going to be doing a, another book tag today. So the way, the one that I'm doing today is the horror book tag. Now this one was created by um, Alex at The Little Thrifter, I think is her channel. Sorry, Hey Little Thrifter is her channel. And I thought this was kind of a, a cool book tag. It's not one that I've seen before. Um, and I think she says as much, there's a lot of sort of Halloween themed ones, but not kind of a horror um, kind of book tag. And I thought this was really cool. And because I... I love horror. Um, I love particularly kind of witches and vampires um, and and kind of occulty, mystic type of horror um, and also queer horror. Um, and I want to kind of get more into that as well. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to do this tag. So I've got the questions here and appropriately enough, there are 13 questions um, for a horror tag. Makes perfect sense. So I'm going to go through the questions, give you my answers. Um, and here we go. So the first question is how and when did you get into horror? So actually quite similar to uh, to Alex. Um, I got into horror at a really young age, probably an inappropriately young age. So I also had a friend whose parents maybe weren't paying as much attention to what they were watching as they should have. And I very vividly remember watching It and Child's Play sort of at the age of about 11. Um, and I would say that's too young to watch those films. And the very, very first film I watched when I was about five or six was Jaws. And again, I did hide behind the TV for a good portion of sort of, now if you watch Jaws, you laugh. Um, but at the time, and when I was that young, it was pretty scary. So that was kind of how I first got into horror. Um, and then kind of evolving from that, my love of witches and vampires, um, I started reading, reading Anne Rice novels and then Poppy Z Bright um, and then Buffy the Vampire Slayer will forever and always be my favourite TV programme and I started watching Charmed and really started getting into um, that kind of those, all of those genres, anything to do with witches, vampires, I was a Twihard, I still like Twilight, it's not terribly horror -y, but it's a vampire's in it. Um, so, so that was kind of my introduction into the, the horror scene, as it were. Um, what was the first horror book that you read? So I'm trying to remember, it must have been Interview with the Vampire. Oh, was it Interview with the Vampire? Was it Lost? No, it must have. I, I think it was Interview. I'm going to go with Interview with the Vampire. Um, that was the first book I read. Although the one that really made an impact on me is... Uh, is this over here is um, Poppy Z Bright's Lost Souls. Again, this will forever and always be one of my all time, all time favorite books. It gets reread a lot. It's been read a lot. You can see I even covered it in plastic because I didn't want this um, copy to get ruined. Um, this is from the early nineties. It is also queer horror, um, which is not something that you see that much of. So this will forever stay close to my heart as one of my all time and one of the first horror books that I, I read. Um, do you have any favourite themes or subgenres? So, uh, yes, uh, vampires, witches. Um, I like things to do with kind of angels and demons and religion as well. I found that really interesting. Um, exorcism, um, that kind of. I also like really creepy haunted houses. Um, I love things set at schools, at universities. So I was talking about... Um, a book that I recently read, which is The Merciless 2, which is a great series, by the way, uh, by Daniel Vega. Um, and the second book is actually set at a Catholic boarding school. And I think that's perfect for a horror film. A horror, horror film. Well, it'll be perfect for a horror film as well, but perfect for a horror book. Um, I just think there's always something creepy about a Catholic boarding school. Um, and that obviously that intertwining of religion with kind of superstition and, and where that leads. Um, Hex is another one of my favourite TV series, um, which is again set at a boarding school and you have this sort of uh, devils and demons kind of and witches and um, that sort of thing in it. So that's really cool. That's kind of one of my favourite, th those are sort of my favourite job subgenres within the uh, within the genre. Um, name, uh, name an underrated horror novel or author. Um, so I picked a couple. So the first one, I don't know how many people do read The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I, Daniela Vega. I think probably more than, than these ones. So I would say if you haven't heard of that, check that out. Um, but the ones that I've got here. So the first one here is A Season of the Witch by uh, Natasha Mostert. Um, I read this book the first time years ago. I then purchased it again secondhand because I wanted to read it again. And this book um, is basically... 
the main character, man, he meets this sort of um, th these these sisters, uh, and they're in this house, and particularly one of them is is they they are weird and they are creepy. And on the front it says, "A mesmerizing thriller. This woman will haunt your days and keep you awake at night." And it has these kind of thriller horror elements to it that I really love. So I think. Yeah, I, although this is more in the thriller vein, which again is something that I love, I think it has some real horror elements to it. And I don't know if many people have read it and I really enjoyed that. And then definitely more on the horror vein is this, um, these two books here. So um, they are a duo. So you've got Dark Cathedral and Pagan Moon. I actually read Pagan Moon first, which is the second book. Um, and these two are, so this follows, um, this is about religion and about you know again exorcism and that grappling between what religion tells you to do and who you are and how you should live your life and it has a witch as a main character and this one uh is the continuation where you have the witch's daughter and she has visions um and uh again people are after her and it is it, it's kind of gory in the beginning it's kind of creepy it's it's wonderful and these are two of my all-time favorite books um and i think they're quite underrated because i've never really heard anyone talking about frida warrington and she's also female. So one of the other things that I want to focus on is female um, horror authors. So yeah, so these two definitely would be my recs. Um, recommend three of your favourite horror novels. So um, I'm going to count these as one because it's a duology. So that's one. Then Poppy Z. Bratt's Lost Souls is the other one. And oh, what's my other favourite? I love Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant because they are killer mermaids and who doesn't love a killer mermaid? I do, oh this is more than three, I do also like this series over here um, and it's uh, the Sarah B. Elgren series um, and this is about witches and it's kind of Scandi Noir witches and demons which I quite like, um, sort of more in the YA, the Merciless books are fantastic. Um, I'm just trying to think what else is good. This short story collection, again, I think this is totally underrated. If I can get it out of my bookshelf, I will, you know, bear with. Uh, so I've got other books coming with it. So it's this one over here. It's called Cotton Mouth Kisses uh, by Clint Catalyst. And this is kind of billed as a goth series. And it's a series of short stories, but it's very much in that kind of horror goth vein, which is something else that I really love. I mean, goth and horror together is, is always a good thing. Um, I don't know if if most people would class it as, but I'm classing it as horror, is Rebecca, I think is very good. And then the Anne Rice novels. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, then I recommend a book for someone who's new to the horror genre. I think, so I really love Grady Hendrix, and I think My Best Friend's Exorcism would be a great one. That's also on my list of favorite books, but My Best Friend's Exorcism, it's kind of got those elements of the 80s, early 90s. The cover is actually, I can't, oh, it's somewhere. Um, it looks like a VHS um, tape, like an old VHS tape. If you like Stranger Things, it has that feel to it, that has that vibe to it. Um, it's not too gory. Um, it is, I think it's a great introduction to the horror genre. Grady Hendrix I like anyway. Um, horror Store is great as well. It's basically set in a kind of an Ikea and things go wrong in that Ikea one evening while the staff is there. And then uh, We Sold Our Souls uh, reminds me of the film Suck, which I love. And Suck is kind of a slightly spoofy take on the vampire um, film uh, and it stars like Iggy Pop and Alice Cooper in it and it's just wonderful because some great rock music on it but We Sold Our Souls reminds me so those two things kind of remind me of each other and I think if you like music if you like heavy metal and black metal music that one's a really good starter um I also think YA because it's a little bit gentler so something like the Sarah B. Alvgren um Witches series uh maybe get yourself started if you want to go in with the classics Interview with a Vampire uh, it's more, slightly more maudlin, um, you know, vampire horror, but that is a classic, um, or the vampire stat as well. Um, then, are there any book to film adaptations that you particularly loved or hated? Huh, that's a good question. Um, I, ooh, was there anything that I particularly loved or hated? If I'm totally honest, I tend to either watch the film or read the book with horror because I feel like once you've seen it, it kind of ruins it. Um, 
I carry I think the film is better I love the classic Carrie to be fair I did see the second the new Carrie um with oh god what's her name she's in Miss Education of Cameron Post um I forget the actress's name but actually that is really good I I really I really like that I really love Carrie I think they did a really great job of it um that's a great adaptation um, I like, so if anybody's seen The Vampire Diaries and then the originals, the, the, those two series are based on The Vampire Diary books. I remember reading one or two of The Vampire Diary books and just not being particularly interested in them. I think the adaptation, however, the, the TV series, and I particularly, maybe because I'm older now, but particularly like the originals because it's more um, adult based, but I think the adaptation is fantastic. So I would say the adaptation from those books, um, really, really good. Um, how do you discover new or new to you horror books? So I tend to go like um, on Goodreads, lists, recommendations, just looking for um, horror books in that genre. For me, like I said, I focus very much on female um, authors. Um, I love Books in the Freezer. That is a fantastic podcast. Um, so if you haven't heard that, definitely listen to that. You can get some really cool kind of horror podcasts as well. Um, but that one is particularly good. Um, and then just, yeah, just looking at lists, kind of sometimes just typing in queer horror, <laughs> that works. Um, so that's kind of what I do. I just sort of root around, um, see what people are recommending and try and find it that way. Um, then what was the last horror book that you bought? Oh, sorry, I'm so off camera. Um, this one, A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. Um, and this kind of it uh, has my favorite themes in it so you've got the whole religion bit of it you've got um i think exorcism and church and sort of in your head demons type of thing um so yeah so that's the last one that i bought just recently and then what horror book is at the top of your wish list oh that's that's a good question at the top of my wish list um Oh, I'm really, I'm thinking about this now. Um, I think there's a few actually that I've got on my Amazon wish list that I have to pull up that I can't pull up right now because I'm filming on my phone. But um, it, oh, I'm trying to think which one it is. There's a couple of sort of witch related horror books um, that I want to read. Um, there's the, oh, one that I, <laughs> this is going to sound, I really liked the Sabrina prequel tie-in novel. And I don't know if many people have read it, but I really liked it called Season of the Witch. Um, and that one, that there's a second novel coming out. So that's on my list of definite things that I want to read um, horror wise. Um, so definitely that one. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I haven't read Welcome to Night Vale. That's terrible. I need to read Welcome to Night Vale. I want to read that. That's on my horror list. Um, and oh, um, Shirley Jackson. We've always lived in the castle. That is on the top of my list as well because I have not read that one yet. Um, and um, yeah, I don't I, I don't know why I haven't read it yet, but that is on my list as well. So, so those are some of the ones that are on my list. Um, and then the last one is tag some people. So basically, I tag anyone that enjoys horror, that uh, loves horror books, that uh, wants to read more horror. Um, and yeah. So anybody that wants to do this tag, please do it. Uh, and if you have any recommendations or anything, particularly female authors, particularly queer horror, please let me know. I love to discover new authors and new books. But anyway, thank you, Alex, for creating that tag. That was a lot of fun. I had a good time. Um, I hope you did as well. And I will speak to you all again very soon. Bye bye.